Houston Station on space to ground. Drew Foistel has now moved into third for all time spent spacewalking. Foistel now on his nine spacewalks has spent 60 hours, 22 minutes and counting outside in the vacuum of space. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Katherine McLaurin. This week, the crew kept busy inside and outside the International Space Station. Expedition 56 Commander Drew Foistel and Flight Engineer Ricky Arnold completed a spacewalk on Thursday. The astronauts installed new high-definition cameras near an international docking adapter attached to the front end of the station's Harmony module. The new cameras will provide enhanced views of the final phase of approach and docking of the SpaceX Crew Dragon and the Boeing Starliner. Dragon and Starliner are both commercial crew spacecraft that will launch soon from American soil. The astronauts also had time to swap out a camera assembly on the starboard truss of the station and close an aperture door on an external environmental imaging experiment outside of the Japanese Kibo module. Five hours and 23 minutes into the spacewalk, Boystel moved into third place for cumulative time spent during spacewalks, surpassing Peggy Whitson, who previously held that post. Did you know that the NASA Periscope channel offers more chances to interact with NASA astronauts, scientists, and engineers? This week, the NASA Periscope channel hosted a special event where Joe Acaba and Mark Vandehei talked about the National Week of Making, STEM demonstrations, and the Year of Education on Station. People were able to tweet their questions to at NASA EDU using the hashtag AskNASA before the event for Joe and Mark to answer live. For your chance to participate in future events, be sure to subscribe to the NASA Periscope channel. This week's question comes from Claire from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, who wants to know if being in space is just like being underwater. Well, it's pretty close. Astronauts train for spacewalks at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab at the Johnson Space Center. The lab is essentially a big pool with the full-size mock-up of the space station in it. Astronauts train underwater to practice for future spacewalks. Being underwater is an excellent way to prepare for the microgravity environment of space because you can be weighed so that you are neutrally buoyant, which just means you won't sink to the bottom or rise to the top. This is critical for learning how to successfully accomplish tasks during the real spacewalks. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground and we'll see you next week. Off the Earth, for the Earth, space to ground.